Happy Halloween, everyone. This is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Wow, it's kind of spooky here. But anyway, I want to do a quick video today about progress on the uh, $400 guitar challenge. And uh, this is video number seven, I believe. Um, and um, what we thought we wanted to do is before we started wet sanding the guitar, we took a bunch of pictures of the instrument because we realized that when we're in front of the green screen down here, everything gets kind of weird and it starts to absorb the background that we're going to put in later and stuff like that. <clears throat> so what I did today was I went out to the shop and I took a bunch of photos of the guitar. Um, so what I want to do is kind of talk about a little bit about the photos and give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough of the instrument so far. Um, I realize that's kind of cheating since it's not really a progress video, but um, I couldn't do it. Well, just the timing just had to be right. So <clears throat> as you're watching this, I will have buffed the guitar and wet sanded it and all that shit, but I wanted to get a head start on the video because it takes a long time to edit these things. Anyway, you get the picture. So speaking of pictures, let's roll in some pictures of the $400 guitar. It's gonna be tricky for me to do because I just took the pictures after I remember because I'm having to do it, I'll roll it in later. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> All right, so um, handful of photos, we're gonna roll them in now. Um, uh, the, the guitar is, once again, for those of you who haven't watched the videos, um, this started out life as a chunk of alder. No, it didn't. It started out life as a chunk of poplar and a chunk of maple. And we um, got everything glued up, got everything cut out, got the truss rod cut, got the neck shaped, got the neck fit, got the body cut out, got the pickup cut out, um, made sure everything lined up like it was supposed to. We laid out this cool fabric top and uh, covered that with sealer and locked it all in, basically turned that into uh, like a fiberglass mat almost, if you will, except instead of fiber, it's cotton. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, instead of glass, it's cotton. <clears throat> so uh, um, thinking about a handful of bridge ideas, here's a bridge idea that we're not gonna use, unfortunately, because we're tied to the $400 or less. Um, uh, this Bigsby actually looks really good on there. Almost looks like it was made to go there. Instead, though, we're going to use one of our brand new brain surgery bridges that uh, our buddy Kevin makes for us. This is the this is the suspension bridge, is what we're calling it. And any fans of the old Hamer guitars will uh, instantly see the similarities with what what Hamer was using back in the old days. Um, so we look forward to using this bridge on a handful of new guitars. And uh, this was a seemed like a good good project to start out with. Um, we're going to go with uh, the um, one humbucker in the bridge position. And uh, we'll do a video on a handful of parts and pieces that we're gonna use. Uh, in fact, maybe we'll start that, attach it to this one. We'll see. Well, there you have it. Everything's looking good. So uh, that's what the guitar looks like right before final buff out and uh, assembly. Shouldn't be long now, y'all. If you have any questions on what we've done so far, please leave us a note in the comments. If you like content like this, make sure to subscribe. And this is Matt with Texas Toast Guitars reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Maybe I should be cousin it for Halloween. Beep 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 be